Hey guys, it's Jennifer John Gabiola, and welcome back to my 20 looks and outlooks for 2020 video series. Uh, as a reminder, the purpose of this series is really to help you feel deeply aligned from the inside out so you can thrive this year in your life and business. So uh, we're at video 15, and this um, topic I wanted to talk about uh, felt very synchronistic. Um, so it's a message that I've been feeling and then I've been seeing uh, posts about this. So I felt like there's definitely a synchronicity. So I felt led to to talk about it. Um, so before I go into the topic, um, I did want to share look 15. So let me show you the look real quick. So it's the sheer sort of loungewear top and I'm wearing it with a fluorescent tank and some distressed jeans. And I'm wearing them also with these vintage earrings. I love big statement earrings, statement earrings. So uh, just like with all the other looks in my video series, um, each look has a name and this one is called Faith. And it is related to the topic we'll be talking about today. So the theme or the outlook we'll be chatting about today is the missing piece to lasting success. The missing piece to lasting success. So, you know, when you're an entrepreneur, you do your best to create success on your own terms. And you learn from people. And I, what I'm gonna share are things I wish people would have shared with me early on, because I feel like these things are not talked about as often as I feel like they should be. Cause I feel like this is like fundamental and core to creating lasting sustainable success especially as an introverted entrepreneur so uh, i wanted to cover just a few like these sort of symptoms um, or signs uh, that you're creating unsustainable success and i'm sharing this from my personal experience so and then i'm going to share um how to how to fix that, how to cure that. So, so you can create sustainable su success. Um, all right. So a few of the symptoms I've experienced and I've seen this in um, a lot of my clients and just other entrepreneurs in general um, is the first one is this addiction to being visible and creating content to stay quote unquote relevant. Uh, Yes, it's important to be consistent. It's important to put yourself out there. But I have found that this pressure we put on ourselves to constantly be out there, um, it's like, it's this unnecessary pressure that somehow if we're not out there every day, all day, that people will forget about us, that we won't be quote unquote relevant. And all of these like symptoms, I'm gonna give you um, like sort of an answer to how to remedy this. Uh, but that is, I feel like, especially as an introvert, it's, it feels like a lot of pressure to constantly put out content. And it's like, sometimes it feels like more pressure and less joy it feels less inspired because you feel like you should be doing it and i feel like that's something that needs to be addressed um that it just becomes this almost addiction to producing you know for the sake of producing in a way um uh, which leads me to another symptom is uh rushing rushing to do all the things um hoping that something will stick rushing you're seeing what other people are doing so you hurry up you just again constantly just trying to like feel this uh need to be relevant to be productive right 
and hoping that something that you do is going to work, you know. And another symptom um, is taking action in a way that you um, so constantly are trying to prove your worth, hoping that you'll be chosen. So there's this underlying feeling of unworthiness. So again, it's this, it's this pressure and there's definitely something, a, a better way to, um, instead of this sort of uh, feeling like you're trying to fill a hole or, or compensate for something, then I'm gonna talk about what we're trying to, that hole that we're trying to fill, um, the cure or the remedy to this, this pressure um, is really this, and I'm sharing this because working in that way, like constantly pressuring yourself to be visible, creating content that you may or may not feel um, moved to share, uh, rushing, taking action, um, just hoping that someone will choose you. Like, to me, what I've realized, I've been doing this for 10 years, the cure or the remedy to create lasting, sustainable success, meaningful success, at the core of all those behaviors is a lack of this belief that you are enough, right? So the cure is to believe that who you are is enough. And that is deep, it sounds simple, but it's very deep and it's a process. But that core belief totally is a game changer and it shifts how you show up in the world. Because what I realized in my past is that when I felt this pressure, like, oh my God, I have to like constantly put stuff out there. I have to rush, I have to push myself. Um, I have to just do everything, you know, hoping something will work. That feeling, it felt stressful, it felt constrictive, it felt desperate. And what I'm talking about, this cure is to, when you believe that you are enough, right? That energy, that vibe feels different than that, that desperation. When you believe you're enough, when you, when you accept yourself, when you love yourself, when you trust that there's a force greater than yourself that, is, that loves you and protects you, every day, your vibe and your energy feels different. It feels relaxed, at ease, it flows. And that energy is what creates this sort of presence, this magnetism, this um, energy of flow and overflow, right? Um, it's an attractive sort of energy versus that pressure, that pressure that we're talking about with those symptoms where you're just low key trying to compensate for something that you feel like is lacking deep down. And so to me, this, they're not, what I found is they don't talk a lot about this. This is the linchpin. This is the core of how your success will unfold in a sustainable way, because if you can line up your beliefs with, you believe that you are enough, then your actions, your intentions, who you attract will line up with that. And it takes time, it is a process, but I wish I, when starting out, I would have saved myself so much heartache and um, time and energy, money, um, if I just took the time to really allow myself to feel into this belief that I am enough. But, you know, it's everything's a process. So I feel grateful that I'm in this place. And that's why I wanna, you know, pay it forward and reflect this back to you, especially as an introvert. It's really important that you manage your energy well. And I know that you wanna create a um, lasting impact. You don't. You don't care for superficial surface connections. So 
when you can address this belief in your heart and soul that you are enough, then this is what or I was saying, all those symptoms will be remedied by this. When you believe you're enough, you then create content that feels divinely inspired by your spirit, by your soul. And you trust that it's valuable and impactful and it deeply resonates with your ideal client, right? You're not just creating content just to have content. There's meaning, there's impact, there's um, relevance. That, that's true relevance. You know, when you are speaking from your heart, when you're creating content that you know helps solve problems, challenges for your ideal clients, then you're operating from a place of service, from a place of overflow. Because you've given to yourself, you start to overflow. You, your service then become, comes from a place of giving, right? And when you create content and you're visible in, from this place, um, you are essentially operating from a co-creative process. You're operating with a force greater than you, and for me, it's God, and you trust that you're being used as a channel you're, you're being used as an open channel to share some sort of expression of love and service that can only come through you. That's why it's coming through you because the way you speak, the way like your energy, <clears throat> it will resonate with the right people, right? So another um, benefit is when you believe you're enough, you feel safe to slow down and honor your natural pace right? So you can be discerning and you can be deliberate uh, with what you share and your process. And I like to call this the turtle way. Um, when you slow down, you're not behind. Just when you slow down, you get still and you slow down, you're able to be discerning about being present and really being deliberate on what you do, how you show up, your energy, your overall energy, right? So again, but it's, it's deeply rooted in this belief that you are enough. And uh, the last thing that when you believe you're enough, you then take inspired action, not to serve your ego and try to like prove your worth, but to truly, again, give in the spirit of service. And it's less about feeling like, oh, please choose me. Do you see me? It's because you begin to validate yourself, acknowledge yourself. So it's, you choose you first. And the more you choose you, the more you value yourself, the more the right people will recognize your value and choose you because you are the person they feel led to work with to help them um, grow their business or whatever service they're looking for, right? It, it becomes less about the ego and more about service. So, uh, I just feel like this message is so, so important. And again, it would have saved me so much time and energy and just heartache, really, because when I first started out, well, just in general, I, you know, what my, I was always a type A, highly, you know, perfectionist, overachiever. And I, took a lot of time for me to recognize that those, even though I was very productive, it was based on this deep belief that um, I was not enough. So investing in the time to change that belief and really truly in your heart know that you are enough, how you show up is different. Your energy shifts and you start to attract differently. You attract people that, that reflect that belief in you, right? When you love yourself, accept yourself, believe that you're enough, you will then attract things in your life that reflect that truth back to you, right? So I can't stress enough how um, this is like so important to take the time and not jump too quick to the strategy which is important, but I found that you can't, 
nothing in your strategy is going to stick long term if you can't resonate in this space for yourself. If you can't hold this belief, um, your capacity to receive will be limited, right? So definitely it takes time. It takes practice. Um, if, this re if this message resonates with you and you'd like to like dive deeper in this concept, um, I did share a replay in my last virtual party that I shared in my quiet voice Big Impact Community Facebook group. So you can check out that um, replay. It dives deeper into this concept. It's really about this two-part video series for my um, uh, virtual parties. The, the theme is prospering through the pandemic. And part one in that replay was talking about the fundamental, uh, the spiritual foundation that you need to be able to lay a strong, the strong, groundwork so you can expand your capacity to receive more success prosperity um, so i hope you enjoy that um, part one and i'm excited to share that um, that part two is happening uh, the next virtual party part two is happening next thursday may 28th at 11 a.m central and again this is about part two um, prospering through the pandemic. It's uh, really building upon part one, the spiritual foundation. We're gonna be talking about the social strategy um, needed in order to create that financial uh, prosperity, um, especially through this uncertain time. So in the techniques, the strategies that are important, but they need to be deeply aligned from a deeply rooted place. So that's why I wanted to share like at the core, at the core is it's really important that you believe that you are enough. And then from there, you just build upon that in order to create success um, that feels really rooted in something true and real. And that's how you create lasting success, impactful success. So if you'd like to join the party, uh, you can email me at info at dawningsoul.com or send me a private message to get on the virtual guest list. And it'll be on Zoom, so I'll send you the Zoom link. And for those of you interested in this uh, top, this pink sheer loungewear top, it's called Faith, and it is available in, from my vintage Gabiola um, collection. And uh, I will share more about the piece um, in the comments. And uh, as mentioned, a portion of the proceeds from the sales of my Gabiola Vintage Collection will go to the Mamba Sports Foundation to further Kobe and his daughter Gigi's legacy in youth sports. So I hope that this message um, has been uh, timely for you. It just feels like the message is in the ether. I just feel like with social media, it is a blessing that we can connect with people all over the globe. However, I feel like it comes with this, if you're not careful, it can feel like a, this pressure to become this machine to produce, to produce. And it's really important for you to slow down and really get clear on like the, your, like your relevancy, like the meaning behind why you're doing what you're doing. And you have to have to believe that who you are and what you do is enough, right? And then from that place, you then you can create real lasting overflowing prosperity and success. Okay, guys, I will talk to you soon.